Um, I've, I was asked to show how to do the hat I've just done, and I do have several videos out on how to do that technique, but then I thought, well, yeah, let's do a refresher. Um, I am going to paint this one. So I've got, a, I found another hat. So I'm going to paint this. Um, and I'm just going to give it a quick coat. But like I say, we'll just give it a coat of paint. I don't want to do too much to it because I, I'm going to be covering it. Take the heat gun and dry that off. That'll do. I'm not going to do anything else to it until I've, you know, finished it. Um, but you don't have to put pictures on these. I've told you that before. Now, I'm going to put mine there. That's my main flower, you know, one of the bigger flowers. But I'm also going to put one of those here. So I always like to get a nice one. See, that one's open. That's a bit shut. They're all slightly different. That's a bit, you know, I like that one. We'll have one open like that. I'm going to try and keep in frame. Okay, so we're going to have two hearts like that. Uh, and then basically what you do is you start filling it up with flowers. Oh, some you can pull these wires out and some you can't. I love just filling them out. And like I say, you do not need to have um, pictures. You just don't. Okay, dokie. Now what I'm going to do is just pop that there. And I've one last one. Now, I'm not going to put any more flowers on because I've got enough. But um, what I'm going to do is start and put the bling on and paint it. Now, I've got lots of little uh, blingy bits here, and I don't see that's a little bling bit. Uh, you might end up covering some of the uh, flowers, but I'm not fussed about that. And I just get the bits out, and we'll have a look and see what we've got. See, I love that. I just love that, and I think I might just sit that in there. Yeah. We'll see. Let me just see. Lots of little blingy bits. 
But first of all, we're going to paint it and then I might put the pearls on as well. So I'll take the acrylic and I'm just using... Um, yeah. You don't have to use white. Shall we? Oh, no, we won't use white because I've done a cream background. Let's go and do... I'm going to go this one. This is what we call tea pink. So let's go on. And we're going to do this. Why not? We'll just do a little bit of this. Yep. I can take the lid off. The wrapper, should I say. Yeah. Let's just do a bit of this. Why not? So I just take the brush I had before. Um, and all you're doing is just... You don't cover everything, you know, all over. I mean, you cover everything, but you don't do it all over. Oh, this is oh, that's a different colour. I've not had this colour before, but I, I bought it and thought, yeah, why not? That's nice. I like that. It's very warm looking. But I am going to do a little bit of the white, just a hint of white. Uh, and what I'm going to do with that is to pop that onto my mat. Oh, yes. Wow, that did pop. I'm not sure if you can actually see this. But that pop popped. Oh, yeah. Well, that looks so, um, how can you put it? Shabby chic. <laughs> Just dab it onto your paper first and... Wow, love that. Really like that. So that's using the white acrylic paint just to dab over the... It's like snow on all the petals. It's really pretty. Now what I'm going to have to do is just to let that dry. So I'm going to help that along. And I've purposely left a gap there because... And I'm going to show you why in a minute. Look. I've got a cherub that's just... Look, it's bent just right there that's going to go there but i first need to dry this and this was a fridge magnet to be honest but again i think these were gifted to me i just need to take off the fridge magnet sometimes these just pop off and sometimes you've got to really well, you've got to be extremely well that's not going to go so well whatever what I'll do is just um, glue it on as it is. Let's just finish drying this off because it does have to be dry. And I'm glad I actually picked that colour pink because these pearls are perfect for it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to glue this into place. And that is just showering that with glue. And hopefully that will sit in place. Let me just make sure that this is also glued on. 
squash that in a little bit. See, see how that looks pretty. He's flying around on a bed of roses. <laughs> and um, I'm first going to pop this in. Be careful when you're playing, uh, playing when you're laying uh, your pearls. Don't have straight lines, curves. That's what you need. Curves, beautiful curves. And glue it down in the right places so that it stays. Yeah, I'm just going to snip that there. I don't want to do too much to this one. I've got to put some more on, but not just yet. I really must clear my desk off. It's absolutely disgraceful. <laughs> Do I care? Not. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to now take the little pearls from here. Oops, there they go in there. And I'm going to snip that because I'm going to make it look like it's wrapped behind. Start it from there, I think. And I want it to go round there. And then wrap itself round here. And over here. And then we're going to drop that in there. <laughs> well, that's pretty. I'm just going to take the pearl from there. Now, these are just necklaces that I buy on the car boot. Uh, just strands of pearls. Um, and it's really handy to have them. Really handy. That's better. Yeah. See that? Now, I wasn't going to paint them, but I am going to put a touch of white on them. I think they just need a little bit, just a hint of white. So I'm just going to take hold of my sponge. Um, put them back. Take hold of the sponge. And just dab some paint on like that. Yeah, I like that. I think I need a little bit more white showing on the flowers just to give it that. It just gives it like a, a warm Christmas glow. And highlight them a little bit more. Go lay down, Joey. Come on, Daddy Bean soon. Go lay down. They keep waiting for him to come in from work. So you can still see the pink in the pearl. I think we will glue that one down. 
just to stop that. There we go. Now is, is when we're going to start and add some bling. But the bling I'm going to add, I think, is... Let me just see. I think it's in the other jar. Let me just find out. Because I don't... Looking at that now, this is where I always change my mind. Um, I actually only want... Yeah, I've got this bling. This will do See, I've got this, so I'm actually going to use this bling, and I'll. Uh, I just want the little touch here and there because I'm. At, I actually love what's happened to that. I just thought I'll share another pro. Well, I'm just playing actually. What I've done is I've taken two chipboard hats, um, added some pink material, and I've used the book binding glue, which is the pin flare. Uh, if you type in Google pin flare, it's about two pounds seventy five, but it's a really good strong glue. Looks like PVA, very similar to PVA, but it is very strong. And you normally, uh, you, you know, put your cover your books with them your front covers what I've done is I've added uh, a piece of material over after I've glued it and then I've just trimmed round the material about a centimetre all the way around on both of them um, and I've let that dry and then frayed it the best I can uh, on both and then what I've done is I've taken this which is the Dreamweaver's crackle paste I, this is the best one that I find to use I absolutely love using it uh, and I've gone over because the material is now glued down um, I've just gone over the material with it
See, it's all clogged at the bottom. I don't use them that often. But we're going to use it today. Hopefully it'll squirt. Yep. I don't know if that'll show up. See how it's, the crackle shows up more? So I'm just going to dry that because we do need to dry it off. I'm just going to add a little bit more. I want that to stand out. That looks great, doesn't it? Look at that. Doesn't that look fab? Wow. Like it. Me likey, me likey. <laughs> and then what I'm going to do is just do this one. I'm going to soak that and then dry it. Because before I can glue anything onto it, it has to be dry. The crackles come out really well. I just love playing. That's what it's all about. So I think we'll call this one crackled material. Why not? That's what I, that's exactly what I've done. Okay, doke. We're going to put that to dry. Uh, leave that to cool down. I mean, yeah. Looks fab, doesn't it? Look. And that one. So, and this one, I'm just going to dry off a little bit more, and I think we'll play around. I'm only putting a picture in the bigger heart. Um, so, let's see. I need a central flower, of course. And I'm going to use one of these, I think. So I'm going to have to open these. Oh, look, they're stunning. Just stunning. Look at that. Wow. I'm going to put that there. Am I? No, there. Am I? Don't know. I'm just filming. How do you do that? Oh, my glue gun's gone. F ah, funny. Oh, come on, glue gun.
I can do another one, I think. Let's do one of these. That just covers where they've been put, and it looks fine. Um, and I don't think that needs any more. I wasn't happy with that, but I'm quite happy with it now. So that's the first one done. You know, it's just playing about, practicing, and because I still learn, I learn something new every day. Uh, and then what I've got to do is just a little flower display on this one. Gonna be a, I don't know whether I'll attach it actually, I'll just send them as, because I'm sending it out to someone, or just send them like that and they can do what they like with them, they might want to put both on one project, so I think I'll leave it at that, so there you go, hope you like that, just get your stuff out and play, I don't think it's overloaded or anything like that, you don't need to have big sprays and everything on it, you don't need all of that. You just need to... Less is more. It needs to be elegant and not shabby. Thanks for watching. Take care. And I'll speak to you soon. Bye-bye for now.